Leslie here from Message in a Fold. I'm still in my kitchen with stuff because my room, oh, mercy, Lord have mercy, it is a wreck. I have mail. I have love that's come in the mail. And I want to show you. So, here we go. Okay, this first box is from uh, Michelle Birdsong out of North Carolina. And evidently, this box comes with instructions. So, I need help. And Joe is across the table from me, so he is going to help. So, now I'm going to open this box. Oh. Is that running? Yes, it's running. Hi, everybody. I'm really helping. I'm holding this side of the table down. <laughs> She's got so many packages that if I don't, the table will just go <laughs> and fall over. <laughs> Love from everyone. Okay. Oops. Lay each parcel out in numerical order, it says. That way you can read the description as you open them. Shelly. And she told me that she put in a lot of... My little box of mojo. Enclosed you will find a small array of items to help you to inspire and to challenge your creative spirit in hopes of giving it a kick start. Okay, this... Oh, okay. This is for... This is for you. Look at this card. It has glitter. I don't know. Glitter paper or glitty glitter. Yeah, glitty washi. Glitty washer tape. That is gorgeous. Is that the handy dandy universal clips? No. <laughs> no. Is that butterfly stickers? Nope, nope. Okay, this is package one. This is package one, right here. Okay, so what does it say for package one? These glittery gems of modern technology can be used to hang up just about anything from hard and drying artwork to laundry. However, using them in an outside environment is not recommended. Simply thread the included string through the holes and secure each end to a non-movable object. That could be subject to some question. <laughs> Attaching ends to a door handle or door pulls will result in sagging when door or drawer is open. They can also be used as bag clips to hold closed bags of chips or cookies. Please be advised that using them this way will not render such <laughs> <laughs> uh, please be advised that using them this way will not render such bags Joe proof. <laughs> they came in this sweet little bag. There's some green embroidery floss. This, this one is silver and it's there it looks like it has micro beads on it but it's some kind of a, a a tape probably washi tape she's colored put it on both sides this is some look how shiny 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 and this one is all blinged up what is that story about making it shiny and they will come? <laughs> I don't know about that. Make it shiny and I will be there. <laughs> here's glittery, glittery paper. Or, and here's a gray one. <laughs> is that for a rainy day? I, yes, it must be. Oh, here, it's a little loose there, so. Oh. I'll I know to, somebody that can fix it. I'll have to put some glue on that. And then here's a gold one. All right. Maybe we want to weigh that. i to find number two. There's five, four, six. 
5, 14, I know, 12, 13, 8, 7, 6, here's 2. Four. 1, 2, 3, oh I see why she did it. These can be used on any colored paper or even on white cardstock. After applying, color each opening to give a subtle to dramatic effect to your project. Butterfly stickers! Look at that! And they are, they're just the black outline. Oh, this would be beautiful on, it would look like stained glass if you used some of the Tim Holtz colors on uh, glossy paper. Iridescent and uh, what did you call that stuff? Flocking? Flocking? Yeah, you could use, use iridescent flocking and give it a three dimensional feeling. Yes. All right, now I need to. Here's number three. These are actually newspaper clippings. Will bring a bit of nostalgic to any piece. Just adhere to cardstock, then distress as desired. Included are. A map of Carolina Beach, North Carolina, circa 1928. The Atlantic Carolina Beach Motel, circa 1926. Okay, there's three of those. Okay, here's the Carolina Beach Hotel. The Wilmington Light Infantry Building and the First Baptist Church on Market Street from the 1920s. And that is that one. I wonder if that's that's the infant whoops, that's the infantry building and, and there's a church? What is it? First Baptist Church. First Baptist Church and the Infantry Building. 1926. This 20s, is 1920s. 1920s. Oh, thank you, Michelle or Shelley. Thank you. Okay, that's number three. These these are awesome. That was three. Now I need to find four. Where's four? Iridescent pearls. Use as a string or cut a few, and use as dew drops or water drops. Just make sure you trim the strings close to the pearls. Oh, another sweet little bag. Hey, you're getting to be a bag lady. <laughs> They're, Shelly's making me a bag lady. Oh, I love these. That's a present that keeps on giving. You just keep pulling and it keeps coming out of the hat. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Look. Look, it just keeps coming. I wonder how long it took her to shove them in there. <laughs> oh, here's the end. Thank you, Shelly. These are awesome. You know, I bet you it went just like that. See, that shows that I'm a that you're not a parachute rigger. <laughs> nope. 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 Thank you, Shelly. I love this bag. Look, shiny, shiny. All right, five. One's for you and one's for me. This one is yours. And this one is mine. His and hers forget-me-not box for when you need to put that little something special in a place you'll remember. Place items inside to be guaranteed that the first place you'll look will be the last. <laughs> Note, do not use soap to clean boxes as they have been hand burned, stained, oiled, and soaked and damaged to finish. Wow. Show yours to the camera here. Oh, wow. Shelly, that's awesome. See that? Oh my goodness. It's got hinges. Bring it closer so she, we can see the ruler. Okay, yeah. Oh, Shelly, that's totally awesome. Thank you. Thank uh -oh. you. What? She messed up. What did she, how did she mess she up? She left three gold bars in here. 
Well, thank you. Show it to. Them. I'm not going to show you. You're not going to. Oh darn. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Shelly. Thank you very much. Oh my God. She she does this. This is one of her things. She has one of those wood burning things. Oh, look at that. Wow. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you very much. Thank you. I need the knife, please. All right. This is, thank you. This is number six Well, my batteries. Shankless buttons. These buttons have been hand de-shanked just for you. Use them as embellishments without fear of the shank flying off as you remove it. <laughs> Only later to find it as you walk barefoot over the floor. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my battery's getting low in the little camera. I gotta go. You got another battery? Uh, I don't know. Oh, look. At, whoops, whoops. Come back here. Come back here. I'm going to step on a button is what I'm going to do. Oh. She went button diving. Yeah, look at these beautiful buttons. So she's, she's knocked the shank off. Thank you, Shelly. These are beautiful. Okay. Uh, Must be a secret as to what kind of tool she used to remove the shank. That, uh... That pair of nippers that you have that cuts... Flush? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We are on number seven. Seven. Hand made shabby chic flowers. Used to decorate your journal frame or anything else that needs a little something big. Oh, these are beautiful. Shelly. Oh my goodness. Oh, there. Look at that. Want a crow? No, thank you. This one's blue and yellow. Oh, I love that. Hey, use what you've got. Entertainment? Entomans? Entomans mints. Mm. No, those, uh, oh, breakfast Danish things. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful purple and a pinky red one, and she's used the white pearls, string of pearls instead of the iridescent one. Thank you, Shelly. Okay, now here's eight. Eight small jars of mini punch-outs. At first glance, you'll be wondering what the blankety-blank am I supposed to use them for? That's where your imagination comes in. You don't expect me to come up with all of the answers, do you? <laughs> In the end, you will wonder just how you made it all this time without them. Oh. Trust me. <laughs> oh, Shelly. Oh, Shelly. All right, how do I get in here? With a knife. She's right. These are little, little punch-outs. Oh my goodness. Well, I'll just only take out two and show you. Turn over here. All of these little tiny punch outs. These are Is there sticky on them? No. No. These are pine uh uh, palm trees. Hmm. Look at how small they are. They're on the tip of my finger. So, so number cool. nine wait, oh, wait, wait. is something that you don't have enough of. <laughs> something that I don't have enough of. Okay. Right. Number 
number nine. These are just not any paper scraps. Each was hand done to give that card or project that something something it needs. Some are painted, some are watercolored, some sprayed with a shimmer mist, and one is even crackled for you. These are intended to save you the time and trouble of doing it yourself. Oh, wow! Oh, well, Shelly, you must have had fun! These, oh, these, these are awesome. Yes, I'm getting ideas what to do with these. Hmm. This one's got, there, you can see them sparkles in it. This one has, this one has a little bit of, the shimmer kind mist. It's like a watercolor. Yeah. There's the crackle one. Mm. That is. Thank you, Shelly. Oh, am I getting ideas? Okay. That was number nine. Ten is an envelope. Packet of lists. And why not? We all use them. This way you can add one to your journal, date book stick up on the fridge, or corkboard to remind you of what you need to do but just won't quite get to it today. <laughs> you know me so well, Shelly. Here's the shopping list. Books to read. These are cool. A cleaning list. I think I'll leave this one blank. Get rid of all those dust bunnies. Organized. Uh, life organized. Yeah. Quick, quick, write that good idea down. <laughs> These are pretty cool. She must subscribe to that. If it isn't written down, it hasn't happened. I think so, yes. <laughs> For note taking. So super important. Oh, Shelly, I love these. Thank you. These are awesome. All right, 11. We're on. Bag of colored pretties. Here's a small collection of hand colored digi stamps to help when you need a little something extra without going to all the trouble of coloring it yourself. Oh my goodness! And there's little bitty things in there as well. Oh, Shelly, you color really well. Look at this cute little bear. That's adorable. Oh, and I have a Tim Holtz clock die that these would work excellent on. Oh my goodness. These are so cute. Oh, look at this, these beautiful butterflies. Mm. <laughs> and this little girl. I think she's calling for help. Have somebody to come over and help her play. Oh, look at this cupcake. Friends are forever. This is so cool. Some music sheets. Oh, Shelly, thank you. These little tiny flowers. Look at this little teeny tiny one here that she cut out. Thank you, Shelly. You've lost number 12. I don't know where. There's 12. There's 12 right here. Okay. Bad hair day noggin. Schnoggin. <laughs> the one thing I know you miss the most is having a bad hair day especially during cold times. <laughs> that is not necessarily true. Okay, explain yourself. 
sometimes it's a lot easier just to put on your bonnet and go to work. That's true, yes. Yeah, I'm kind of liking this no hair thing. I don't have a bad hair day at all. This schnoggin, schnoggin, whatever, comes complete with a hairbrush, which, by the way, doesn't need to be brushed or combed. Please note that the bangs go in the front. <laughs> For a softer schnoggin, just rinse with your favorite conditioner, wrap tightly in a towel to remove excess water, then lie flat to dry. Well, you're supposed to lie yet flat, not you lie flat. Oh, okay. Don't go trying to find the gray you used to have. It is universally thought that you are too young at heart to have any. <laughs> <laughs> you got another. Yes. See? And if you miss the fringes, you got fringes hanging down around your ears and... You can, you can tie some extra thread on that that would tickle your shoulders. <laughs> Shelly, this is awesome. <laughs> this is really great. Look, at I have hair. Right? See, she just, just hair. put some extra things hanging down to tickle your neck and you'll think you've got hair. That's right. Shelly, I love this. Hey, this so is awesome. I have to get back down here and find 13. All right, here's 13. Pokey tool. For the times when you can't find the one you just had and need a spare. This pokey tool is handmade you handmade with you in mind from the finest polymer clay and an antique darning needle. Filed to a precise point oh. to make it the perfect helper. Note, please remove the protective cork before using and replace when not in use or just lying around looking pretty. Look at this. Does that mean you don't want to stab yourself? Yes. This is. I can just beautiful. see that running underneath a fingernail. Oh, yeah. Look, this is beautiful. And she's put her initials in there. CB. Wow. That is sharp. That is. That is a very sharp, pokey tool. Shelly, thank you. Number 14. Is a pin book. Everyone needs that special place to stick their stick pins. No. I'll read that over. Everyone oh. needs that special place to put their stick pins so they won't get lost. What? No stick pins? That's okay. Some have been included to start your collection with. Oh my gosh! Look at this. This is a foam thing and it's covered in lace. Well, here's the front. My goodness, this is beautiful. And this lace and here's some, here's some of the iridescent bead strings. And she's put a ribbon on to tie this closed. And then here are the stick pins she's made. Oh, oh my God. Shelly. How in the world did I get... How in the world did I get to be so fortunate? Thank you, Shelly. Okay, 15... Stained glass paper and film wrap. Just hold the stained glass paper up to a window or light to see the magic happen. Use your imagination and see what you can create. Also included is a sheet of carbon fiber wrap film. Cuts and punches like butter but strong and tough too. You will note the sticky post-it on this one. Just don't just didn't have the heart to run two perfectly good sheets of cardstock. My goodness. Here, here's that paper she that carbon paper she was talking about. Oh my goodness, look at these. Wow. This is a lot of time. See? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There's been a lot of time spent.
Oh my. Coloring these in. Oh, Shelly. These are gorgeous. Wow. Shelly, thank you. And that is If you have made it to this one. This little one. The only explanation is yes, you are. Yes, you are. I had to paper up in front of the camera. <laughs> You certainly are. Shelly, thank you. Shelly, thank you. You've made my wife's day. Indeed. And mine. Indeed she has. I appreciate you. Don't know you, but you're my kind of gal. Thank you. <laughs> Shelly, thank you. She says, my dearest friend, been trying to keep busy while you... You've been going through treatment and surgery. Hope these few things will help get you back into your crafty mood. Looking forward to more Skypes and videos. Love you both, Shelly B. Shelly, thank you so very much for this box of love that you've sent. The box of love that included instructions. This was fun. And I appreciate you including Joe in this. Have in having him read off the instructions. This was enjoyable. Thank you, Shelly. And Shelly, thank you for including me in this because I try to boost her, kick her in the butt, and get her to do things. <laughs> thank you. She keeps talking to me about me going out on the road and then she doesn't want to spend my money. <laughs> We had a deal years and years ago. I make it, I bring it home, you take care of it. Still works today. Thank you for all this. Okay, this, oh, okay. This is for, this is for you. Like that. Tiny punch outs. These are Oh Shelly, you must have had fun.